Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help with the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Just a quick reminder for all my viewers and that is guys, if you guys have not joined the Telegram group chat guys, what are you waiting for? It's free to join, link in the description box below. We talk about cryptocurrencies the latest news and trends revolving around the space and just have a great time at the end of the day so come join the group and let's build this community together now let's jump right in today's content all right guys before i begin i would like to say the disclaimer anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because i am not a financial advisor cryptocurrencies are super volatile so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets looking at the overall crypto market cap today we are currently sitting at 1.66 trillion dollars we're down four percent in the last 24 hours meanwhile btc dominance is currently sitting at 43.8 percent looking at the overall markets guys we are seeing a lot of red across the board especially in the last 24 hours mainly due to the fact that bitcoin has retraced 2.8% and we are below $40,000 but still we're above 38,000 so things are not looking so bad. We will get into Bitcoin charts later on but overall the markets are seeing some mild green across the board but nothing to get excited about in my opinion right now. But today I want to look further into VeChain. All right my VeChain family if we are looking at VeChain's price right now we're currently trading at 10.8 cents. We're down 2.5% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative, but we're up 0.4% in BTC comparative in the last 24 hours. VeChain's current rank on coin market cap and on coin gecko is at that top 22 spot. Market cap right now is $7.1 billion. Meanwhile, 24 hour trading volume is at $737.6 million. Zooming out and looking at the bigger picture for VeChain, guys, in just the last year alone, we're still up 1100%. So let's not forget that when we are looking at the prices for VeChain. And one thing I want to point out to you guys is that the 24 hour trading volume is kind of low uh, for a project like VeChain, but I have been seeing similarities between altcoins and a lot of altcoins have pulled down quite significantly in their 24 hour trading volume so i believe as markets recover we will see this go towards the upside organically but today i'm going to share an update from rec project uh that i you know felt that is worth sharing and it is exciting uh, for sure if you are a v chain holder so let's get right into that before we jump into the charts all right so rec project posted this on their linkedin just seven hours ago and this is what they say May was another successful month in fight against ocean plastic pollution. Thanks to our cleanup team and the Reese movement, we recovered an incredible 92,162 kg, um, 202,756 um, pounds of plastic from oceans and rivers. Collection data stored using the tool chain platform from VeChain Tech and third party validated by DNV. This gets me super, super excited, guys. This goes to show, you know, when I say VeChain is solving a real world problem, you know, real world issue and bringing mass adoption to the crypto space, this is exactly how it's doing it. Uh, on the VeChain, uh, you know, Thor blockchain, data cannot be corrupted. It's legitimate, so anyone can see uh, the right thing because uh, it's uncorrupted uncorru uh, and, you know, it's not uh, been... Um, you know played with so it's legitimate information and this is what a lot of organizations around the world have faced the most problem in because there's a lot of um, corruption that occurs and uh, the majority of the data is not legitimate so this is what blockchain is there to solve transparency and you cannot you know fix it or edit it and this is why vchain thor blockchain is creating a lot of buzz around the world and working with some of the most uh, biggest names around the world when it comes to businesses and i believe this is only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as time goes by so i wanted to share this with you guys because i felt like this is a very very interesting um you know thing that uh, vchain holders should definitely know now getting right into the V chain price, we're you're trading right now at ten point seven eight cents. We have pulled down a little bit uh, from yesterday. If I bring out the measuring tool, we have pulled down six point one percent as uh, of recording this video. 
that is mainly due to the fact that you guys can see Bitcoin has seen a retracement occur. Uh, we were trading at 40500 and since then Bitcoin did see a 5.18% retracement. Uh, we're below 40000 which I do not like to see happen but we're still above 38000 So uh, nothing to worry about in my opinion right now. What I personally would like for Bitcoin to do in the next uh, couple hours uh, before the day close to you know, close above 40,000 if it's possible for it to do. As you guys can see, we have closed above 40K in the last two days. Right now, we are below it, but let's see what happens in the next couple hours if we're able to close above 40K. Beautiful. If not, um, I would like for us to close above $38,500 at least. If that's not the case, then yes, we could. Uh, have more downwards, um, you know, potential and maybe even fall back down to $36,200 mark, which obviously no one wants to see. Uh, but uh, we have to look at the reality. A lot of there, I was reading about something uh, regarding CME futures gap. There is a gap around a $37,300 level, roughly around there. I could be wrong about the exact price, but it's definitely around that range. And, uh, you know, Bitcoin does tend to majority of the time fill these gaps. So maybe we could have a wick towards the downside, fill the gap and then, you know, head towards the upside. So, um, you know, we will be monitoring the situation very, very closely and I will bring you guys an update if anything is worth sharing. So right now we... What we personally would like for us to do is get above $40,000 and close above it. But uh, as I mentioned, the CME futures gap, there is one down there around that $37,000 mark. We could wick towards there and, you know, have a bounce back up. So we will see what happens. Right now for VeChain, you guys can see we did have a 6% pullback, uh, even though Bitcoin had uh, only like 5% roughly pullback. And we are seeing altcoins go down more, obviously due to the fact that I have mentioned earlier, BTC dominance is on a rise as we speak. It has pulled down a little bit, but still it is pretty high. We still need BTC dominance to fall for us to see some, you know, movement in altcoin markets. But uh, I am not complaining uh, at all right now. Uh, VeChain is looking very, very healthy. Uh, we have been creating, you know, um, a lot of resist, um, a lot of support around here, as you guys can see. Over the last one month, has been trading sideways for a while, and this is exactly what we want to see after seeing a massive parabolic run towards the upside. And still, guys, even though we are seeing this sideways momentum occur, we're still up. 1,100 percent in just the last year alone so a lot of people tend to forget that when we are looking at the charts guys so please let's not forget that and look at the bigger picture when we are comparing um or looking at bitcoin uh, v chain's price i always mention to you guys uh if you guys are in it for the long haul if you're in for the short term, yes, sure, you guys can be looking at the prices. But if you're in for the long haul, you have invested where you can afford to lose and you have done your due diligence, then guys, looking at the charts is basically a waste of time in my opinion, especially in this case when we are seeing BTC dominance goes towards the upside, more interest is flowing into Bitcoin, uh, then, you know, things could look boring and as I have mentioned on and on, that markets sometimes can consolidate for a few weeks or months. This could be boring, yes. Uh, but this is where your patience is tested. And, um, you know, best thing to do is put your phone away. No, I'm not sorry, like not literally put your phone away. Like delete the trading view uh, or anything any app regarding cryptocurrencies, especially if you're in it for the long haul, um, store your cryptos on a ledger. I always mention this to you guys. You do not, if you're in it for the long haul, guys, you never want to keep your cryptocurrencies on an exchange because exchanges are centralized. So if it were to get hacked, you your funds could be at um, you know risk. Uh, so basically, it doesn't matter how big the exchange is, you never want to keep your hard-earned money on the exchanges at all, guys. Uh, you know, invest into a ledger uh, and, you know, a store or any hardware wallet and store your cryptos on there. It, like I said, if you are in it for the long term, uh, because you own your private keys. N uh, not the exchange owners, you own your private keys and whenever you feel like you want to trade now or you want to sell your um, cryptos, then you can move it from your ledger. I have a link in the description box below. You can purchase a ledger 
it does help my channel out if you purchase it through that link. So it's a win-win situation for both of us. Um, but overall, guys, we're still seeing a lot of sideways momentum. This level of support around this 10 cents mark is very, very crucial for VeChain. Obviously, if Bitcoin were to go towards the downside, we could possibly go back down here. I hope, um, you know, we do get supported right here. As you guys can see, we have been getting supported quite a bit around here. So as you guys can see, this is a strong level of support. But if this is unable to hold, then yes, we could see more downwards momentum. But I would only see VeChain go back down to these prices if Bitcoin were to go below 30 three thousand dollars then yes we could see uh prices go uh, down more but right now uh nothing to worry about in my opinion right now but um i will keep you guys updated if anything else comes out um my still target for uh vchain in the immediate short term is to get above this level of support um at this 13 cents mark and gradually move towards the upside but we need to pay very close attention to bitcoin dominance as we speak but that is it for VeChain's update, guys. So far, so good. Nothing to worry about, in my opinion, right now. I still believe, I'm a still strong believer that, you know, this bull cycle is a far from being over. Um, we do have uh, cycles where, you know, m a month or two where we do see consolidations occur uh, before we do see the next leg up. And we're already starting to see that happen. Uh, but long term guys, long term speaking, you guys know my stance on VeChain. I always mention this to you guys. I believe VeChain is definitely here to stay. And as I have mentioned, it is bringing mass adoption to the crypto space, has a working product and, um, you know, uh, has a real use case as well. So this is what makes me very excited. And the community is very, very large. Uh, we have the exchanges that we need. Liquidity is not a problem. Obviously, we do want to get listed on Coinbase, which I still believe believe will be possible maybe this year um, uh, obviously that would be a plus point on top of that but overall there's everything VeChain needs for it to uh, succeed we just have to be patient guys long term the next three to five years I cannot even no one no one I did do I can no analyst, no one at all can put a price on VeChain's future or any crypto asset. But projects like VeChain, Cardano, Polkadot, uh, Solana, you know, these kind of projects, you know, that are here to stay, have strong fundamentals. They are here to stay long term. So the vision uh, uh, and uh, the future for them is very, very bright. Despite this bull run, uh, you know, finishing or uh, having a top uh, possibly at the end of this year or at the beginning of next year, we never know. Um, still, long-term potential for this project is absolutely insane and I'm a strong believer. But again, this is just my own personal opinion, guys, and we will see what happens. Uh, but uh, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. Your support means the world to me, especially my day one supporters and my regular viewers. I appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day to come watch my updates. I appreciate that so much. I love you guys. And like I said, let me be the one giving you guys updates. You guys can delete the apps and just enjoy life, guys. Trust me, it's not worth looking at the charts 24-7. I promise you it's a waste of time. Go out, enjoy life, and just have a great time. Uh, and um, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. This does help my channel a lot and gets my videos to a wider audience. So your support would be greatly appreciated. And with that being said, guys, I think I am going to wrap up today's video around here. Please do not forget to stay safe out there. Safety, health, and family comes first and everything else absolutely comes later. It's been CryptoZX and peace out.